Hello and welcome to ET Energy World. I am Ritham Tucker and you're listening to Insight where we discuss the most impactful stories of the week. Let's begin with the most important story, the government proposing an end to power tariff differentiation among consumers. The policy proposes to simplify categorization of power consumers by fixing tariff on the basis of quantity or consumption. The government believes the proposal along with other proposed national tariff policy amendments will be the biggest consumer centric reforms. Moving on, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy is likely to announce the final decision on custom duty on solar power equipment soon. Developers have been waiting diligently for the clarification as this would decide the ultimate cost of their projects and thereby the tariff they will charge for the power generated. The safeguard duty on solar panels and modules imposed in 2018 is going to expire on July 28. The basic custom duty is expected to be levied in the 20 to 30 percent range and will be applicable for a period of five years or longer. Finally, Renew Power has acquired Climate Connect, an artificial intelligence and machine learning startup, to help facilitate its initiative to digitalize and analyze its data to optimize decision making across business operations. Suman Sinha, Chairman and Managing Director of Renew Power, said that the digitalization would play a key role in optimizing power flow from generators to discoms to customers. That will be all in today's episode of Insight. Please keep watching this space for more.